Hello and welcome to another episode of Life Stuff 101. This is day 18 of the series of mini episodes as part of the Challenging Times Self Care Challenge. My name is Mio Yokoi. I work as a registered psychotherapist in Toronto, Canada, and also as a coach and supporter to striving, highly sensitive folks everywhere. Before we begin, I'd like to make sure to mention that what I share on this podcast is for general information purposes only, and it's not meant to be specific advice. And for personalized help, questions, or concerns you may have, please consult your doctor or appropriate medical or mental health care provider. Welcome to Day 18 of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge. The goal of this podcast is to inspire folks to take care of mental health on an ongoing basis, and this time, more than ever, is a crucial time to do so. And these self-care challenge episodes are meant to give you a little something to add a little bit of structure to your day to help with self-care. It's my hope that by building in some time for self-care might also help to support your emotional and mental health during this time. And even if these prompts are just distractions for a few minutes in your day, I hope that can be helpful too. I'll also make sure to repeat in every one of these challenge episodes that at this time in our lives, just getting through moment by moment and day to day, minute to minute, in and of itself can be a lot. So these self-care prompts are here to support you. And this challenge isn't about productivity. It's about taking care of you. It's about self-care. And if you'd like to be notified when each of these episodes are uploaded, you can either subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts, or you can also go on over to lifestuff101.com slash challenge, which has a list of every episode. And before we get into day 18 of the challenge, the day 17 challenge prompt was take a shower to relax. And as I mentioned, and I already have mentioned in these episodes, The goal of these prompts is for you to have an opportunity to practice self-care. And while taking a shower before all these drastic changes had happened in our lives, it was more of a part of our daily personal hygiene routine. And now with so many of us staying home, some of the things we might have done to prepare ourselves for work, school, or just going outside in the world might have changed. And it could be that taking a daily shower might have slipped off our daily routine. But I do want to clarify and say that the day 16 prompt wasn't meant to be about addressing your personal hygiene needs at this time. Although, you know, addressing your personal hygiene hygiene needs are important, but that wasn't really the point to the day 16 prompt. The prompt is a reminder. It was meant to be a reminder that a shower can also be a resource that's available to you if you're looking to take a break or maybe to feel a little bit more refreshed. And A shower can also help you to perhaps shift into a different state if maybe you've been feeling stressed or that you're noticing that you've been thinking a lot or just maybe feeling down in general, that something like taking a shower might be able to shift out of a different state. And it can also give you some time to focus on just one activity of bathing. So it can also be a mindfulness exercise. But I did come across some interesting statistics a few days ago, and I thought, I'd, I thought it'd be fun to share them with you. So the worldwide brand Unilever recently reported that the sales of their personal care and grooming products, such as deodorant, shampoo, and shaving products, have been down since the stay-at-home orders have been in place. So if you've been noticing that you've been skipping some of these steps in your personal hygiene routine in the morning, it seems you're not alone. And all this to say, showering just doesn't have to be a utilitarian thing. Taking a relaxing shower can be used for self-care too. So I'm curious, did you decide to take a shower to relax to complete the self-care prompt for day 16? Please let me know and you can reach out to me on Twitter at Lifestuff101Pod, on Instagram at Lifestuff101Podcast, or on the website at Lifestuff101.com. As many of us are headed into multiple weeks and maybe even months of primarily living our lives at home, you may have noticed asking yourself more often than ever before, what day is it again? When did I do that thing? Or when did that thing happen again? Or maybe it's difficult to distinguish a weekday weekend day from a weekday day. Because so much of the ways in which we can organize our thoughts is through differences the lack of very unique differences in our day-to-day experiences right now 
may be impacting our ability to differentiate that there are different things that are happening. Maybe you've heard of the saying, the daily grind, and how even before we all found ourselves staying at home, there were times when days would blur into each other. Now, what we're going through at this very moment, it's on a whole different level. Since we don't even have the difference in our day moving from home space to an outdoor space to perhaps a work or a school space or a socializing place, space like that, where everything, that most of everything that's happening in our lives is happening mostly in one space. For instance, we are seeing less people in person, whether they are people we know or don't know. Before all this happened, we would have opportunities to have different experiences all the time, even though they can also might have seemed like a routine before. But the reality is there were still many, many more differences in our daily experiences, which, is, which probably happened in different spaces, not just in this one space, which is likely home for you. And the reason that we may be noticing these memory blips or just the feeling that every day is blurring together is because of the extreme lack of variety in our lives at the moment. Here's one thing to potentially consider. You may have heard this particular coronavirus referred to as a novel coronavirus, meaning it's extremely new and based on its newness, we're trying to figure out what it's all about. But its newness has clearly caught our attention in one way or another. So while we're dealing with the novel coronavirus, what are the novel things that you're noticing in your life right now? So to echo back to the day 17 of the challenge, Maybe it's been novel that your showering habits have changed. Or maybe, as it seems a lot of people are doing, it's been novel that you're baking more. Even with the sameness we've been experiencing for the past few weeks, consider jotting down all the ways in which things are new in your life and experience right now. That's one possibility. That's one exercise. But here's the actual self-care challenge prompt for day 18. And here are the steps for today's challenge. Step one, set aside 10 minutes to complete today's challenge. Step two, before beginning, take three slow, deep breaths. Step three, take a notebook, piece of paper, or use a notes app on your phone or computer and make note of three things that happened in the last 24 hours. It doesn't have to be long and it can be jotted down in point form, but try to maybe identify these three things that are a little different from what it might have been the day before, because we are always doing something a little bit differently every day. So jot down something maybe that's different that you've noticed in the last 24 hours. And then step four, end off today's prompt by taking three slow, deep breaths. And step five, considering doing this every day until such time you'll not be self-isolating or staying at home in the way you're doing right now. Today's prompt is another self-reflection exercise, but this is an unprecedented time in all of our lives. There'll be a time when things will be and feel differently, and these self-reflection exercises could serve as a record for yourself during this time. But it might also help to remind you if you have something you can look back on even three days from now so that you can remember, oh yeah, right, that's what I made for dinner on Thursday and it was really good. Or maybe even, hey, that Thursday night dinner, a total experiment that needs to be retried. But it's something that you can record, you can go back to, and it'll give you a sense that things are different, not just a groundhog day or a blur that every day is the same. I hope you're continuing to take good care during this challenging time. Please reach out to me and let me know how you're getting on. I can be reached on Twitter at Lifestuff101Pod or on Instagram at Lifestuff101Podcast or on the website at Lifestuff101.com. So that's day 18 of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge. Thank you for participating in these challenges and stay tuned for day 19 of the Self-Care Challenge. Until then... Please stay safe and in good health wherever you are in the world. And I'll be speaking with you again real soon.